Senate today passed the National Defense Authorization Act. Can you tell us why, what's in this bill for Alaska? Well, it's an important piece of legislation for Alaska. I sit on the Armed Services Committee that drafted the bill and brought it to the floor of the Senate. It ensures that, again, uh, our military bases have the financial support and the resources they need. Another $18 million is in there to ensure that we have additional uh, shooting ranges and ranges within our bases. Uh, the uh, Fort Greeley, our missile defense system, uh, fully funded. Again, important for Alaska, but important for our national defense. So from my perspective, those are the overall, and then of course, uh, Isleson Air Force Base. Uh, critical amendments in there to ensure that Isleson Air Force Base continues to operate with the F-16s on premise. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the amendment? This was critical amendment. Uh, we put it in, uh, we had a couple amendments, one already in the base bill, but we added an additional amendment uh, to protect Isleson Air Force Base. We were happy to have Senator Murkowski join us on this effort. Uh, this ensures that there's no backdoor effort to do a BRAC, in other words, slowly piece away and take pieces away from the base. So at some point they then say, well, there's not enough there, so now, therefore, we'll get rid of it. This ensures that there's a process that any time they start moving uh, people or continue or consider moving people, they will have to come to the members, the Congress, and the Committee of Jurisdiction, which I sit on. So it creates a process that ensures that Ileson just can't vanish over, you know, overnight. Uh, there's a process that ensures that the public will be engaged, it's transparent, and members of Congress will be engaged in it. So it really does put uh, some support and some security around Ileson Air Force Base. Um, I understand you have an additional amendment um, regarding troops available on planes. This is pretty important. It's a small little benefit that active members receive as well as guard and, and reservists, but uh, what was not included is to ensure that uh, when a guard or reservist die in the line of duty, we wanted to make sure their surviving uh, family member or spouse was able to fly space available on our uh, military planes. So when there's space available, they can go on these planes at no cost, an additional benefit to the survivors of these brave soldiers who have perished in the wars that we fight. Well, the most important thing is first, again, making sure as the bill has passed now, making sure the House corresponds with that, and we believe they will, and this will be all good for us to ensure that there's a process. But the other two pieces, one, we finished a housing study, made it very clear that there's not enough housing stock and affordability of housing in the Anchorage area to move these F-16s, so that was good news. The second piece is the environmental impact statement. This will add, you know, 18 months, 24 months, a long period of time for review if it makes any sense for the bases to be moved. They'll have to engage the public, both in Fairbanks and in Anchorage, and we as a delegation has ma have made a request that they not just have two meetings, but several meetings so the whole community is engaged in understanding what this might mean. We think the EIS will show exactly what we've said before. It doesn't make sense to move these F-16s. Also, the budget will be prepared in the final outcome here in the next couple months by the administration. And uh, we, I anticipate that they probably will uh, not put money in there to move Ileson because it costs money. This is what they're finding out, that there's not a savings here. It costs money to move Ileson, and therefore it doesn't make sense. So again, housing study completed now, shows what we thought it would show. Second, environmental impact statement, which is critical. Uh, public participation, transparency, next 18 months, 24 months. It will show, I think, same thing, problem to move Ileson and then the budget issue. So things are moving, but in a way, uh, our direction rather than the way the Pentagon wanted.